Hi, Jay. I got your questions. And uh, I think Go is a great language to learn, even if you're just starting out, uh, for reasons you already know. Uh, the main ones being Go's got amazing credentials, and uh, it's really well built. So it was built by some of the best minds in computer science. Uh, Rob Pike, Ken Thompson, Robert Grissomer. Uh, Ken Thompson's like the godfather. <laughs> Um, C programming language, right? They helped create C, Unix, UTF-8. So some of the best minds created this language is created at Google, uh, the best software engineering firm to have ever existed. So it's got amazing credentials. It's a really well-built language. So don't even hesitate to learn Go. Go is great. Um, and my course on Udemy is really good for uh, somebody who's just getting started with programming. So it'll teach you everything you need to know from the ground up. So just go through that course and particularly learn it if you want to do web stuff because Go is built to solve Google type problems and Google type problems are web stuff at large scale. So a language that does the web really well. That's what Go does. And so uh, Go is perfect for the web. I'll have a new course that I'm building over the next couple of months on how to do web programming with Go, which provides very thorough and uh, you know, accessible introduction to web programming and using Go to do it. And, uh, and by doing learning Go, I think you're going to position yourself for what's coming. So I think it's, uh, it's going to be the choice that people will be making more and more in the future. And that's what all the trends are showing. So I, I wouldn't even hesitate. Learn Go. Learn web programming with Go. And is there some framework for uh, doing uh, stuff with Go? Uh, uh, and on the web. Yeah, there's some frameworks out there. And absolutely, like in my web programming course, we'll use, uh, there's like Gorilla Toolkit or something like that for Go. I can't remember its exact name. But we'll use some of the things from Gorilla. And uh, at one point in my course, probably. <laughs> but, you know, uh, a lot of the stuff is just pretty straightforward. And uh, once you learn how to do it with Go, you don't need a framework. Uh, you understand kind of what's happening and uh, you just use Go. <laughs> so you don't need somebody else to do it for you. You just need your language. That's it. The standard library from the Go thing. All right. So those are my thoughts. Don't hesitate. Um, I, I, I'll also say that, um, you know, uh, it's better to be a small fish in a large pond. No, it's better to be a large fish in a small pond. <laughs> So if you learn Python or Ruby there's a, or J Node, there's a lot of people out there who do that. And they've been doing JavaScript or Python for a long time. And so um, you'll just be kind of like another amongst the many. But Go is new, so there's still room to sort of get involved and be one of the leaders. And uh, you can get involved and know it and really start to make, a, make yourself stand out, right? Because the community is smaller. And so there is the downside that there aren't a lot of examples out there, but there's enough out there. And with my course that's coming and my course, it's already there. And there's enough of a community that when you're stuck, uh, people want to help. It's a really great community. So that's the other thing. Like, you know, I jumped in a year ago and, uh, you know, I've met some of the biggest people in the community just because, you know, online or in person, both, both just because I like, you know, I'm learning it and I'm asking questions and, Right. So anyhow, those are my thoughts on Go. And uh, I wouldn't even hesitate. So just learn Go. <laughs> and uh, I've, I've done Python programming. I've done Java um, and uh, JavaScript and, you know, looked at like all the different ways you could do web programming. And it's the choice, right? It's what I'm teaching at Fresno State. It's what I'm teaching at Fresno City College. It's the choice I've made. So, yeah, I really believe in it and I think it'll serve you well. So go after that. <laughs> All right, that's my two cents.